Hey everybody, it's another Artwork in Progress on PCTV Reports. I'm Brendan O'Leary. Today we head up to Kaysville and sit down with a wonderful local artist and explore the world of the classic oil paint. Uh, I guess I kind of had that desire since I was younger. I always like to create things and paint. I just, I had to. It, it felt good, like right to paint. Uh, my parents, they recognized this and they got me into art classes and that changed everything in how I approach art and how I think about art. And because of those classes, it's kind of opened up um, my desire to explore different styles and techniques and I'm still doing that and you can kind of see that in my art everything's kind of a different style and that's something I've, I've really been excited about since I started painting. I think commissions are really fun because sometimes people will pick a subject that I have never painted before and I think that's super fun and so sometimes I'll even try to get a new style or technique uh, I'll repaint something three or four times, trying to master something new, uh, which I, you know, I take that as an honor that people will approach me with something different. For myself, painting for fun, I gravitate more towards people and portraiture. Uh, but again, I'm across the board, and so like the rooster, more for fun. I have different florals. Uh, I have different, uh, I do comic strips too, every now and then, and different designs that way, and so I, I'm always kind of pushing the boundaries of different techniques, and so I guess it's all fun. It's all fun. <laughs> I enjoy the depth of character that you can get, especially in people's eyes. I really love painting people's eyes, kind of capturing people's story. You can tell so much by someone's expression or different things that are going on with even their hair or what they choose to wear that I find really fascinating. The way someone's sitting or moving I think is, is fascinating and so I really like to connect with my subjects and, and talk to them, kind of learn to about their posture and their movement, and I like to use that in, in my paintings, even kind of their personality. I'm at college right now, and every now and then I'll be walking through campus and see somebody, I'm like, you, you know? And so I did that, like, I did that last year, and I stopped somebody randomly, and I'm like, this is really weird, but can I paint you? And so, <laughs> that's just kind of, I mean, artists, maybe we just, we just do that. And so, sometimes I, I've known the person for a long time, and sometimes I'll see somebody and think, you look so cool, I, I wanna paint you. I have many muses. <laughs> so I always find more and keep moving and so, but yeah, there are, I have many muses and people that inspire me. There's some really impressive people in tough situations and sometimes I want to put that into art. I feel like my art for me is more technical I think that art is very important in making statements worldwide. Very important for freedom of thought. Uh, it's a way to speak. And I think for some people where they may not have the financial resources to have a voice, they can have that through art. And I think that's really important and valuable. I love people's stories. I just think about major changes in uh, the way cultures think, and that's expressed through art oftentimes. I mean, you look at uh, changes throughout human history, art has been present throughout all of it, and I think it's an incredible glimpse into just the mind of a society and where it comes into expression, making a statement, or having a voice. Art kind of carries a different uh, a depth than sometimes words can put out. We're very visual uh, creatures.
The painting I've decided to do today is of my younger brother, Milton. His features are fantastic. <laughs> he has really pronounced features, and I, I, I think it's fun to paint his face. So I went through and I did a pre-sketch, and that way I can see what values I want to have when I paint and where I want to have certain colors down. I could probably start in other places, but starting on the eyes, I think is, I like to connect with my paintings and that's one of the places I can connect is in the eyes. My technique is where I kind of start at one point and move out, at least on this piece. That's kind of how I'm approaching it. If you wait to be in the mood to create art, you're never going to create art. As a child, you have this rampant creativity. It's easier, it's kind of more impulsive. It's harder as an adult. And so you just gotta push through it. Everybody has artist blocks. A lot of times you're not in the mood. I think you create your own inspiration. Work hard, push yourself, push what you understand and challenge what you think you know. As always, we hope you found that entertaining. I'm Brendan, this is PCT Reports, and if you would like to be included in a future Artwork in Progress segment, shoot me an email at brendan at parkcity.tv. Thank you so much for watching. Back to you in the studio.